Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to City Bus Manager. Today we are going to be keeping an eye on what's going on on our little uh, on our little company so far. We've got the two routes, haven't we? The 503 and the 501. Is it the 501 yet? Yeah, not the 500. And uh, things are going well. We're joining, uh, I'm joining you back where we left off. It's darkness. I've not really done anything else on this save, but I do have a confession to make. I promised you in the last episode I'd have a livery for the Mellors and a livery for the Sitaros done, and I haven't. The reason for this, I forgot. Yep. Yeah, I'm not very, uh, I'm not very good at remembering to do things, really, am I? But uh, yeah, I have found a fix for this. I know it's a little bit white round there. The roof's a bit messy. So uh, if we go and paint this now, I have managed to get the uh, the Cetra LE business uh, sorted. Let's get a chap over to there or a chapette, Luana Klassen. Come on, Luana. Let's get this bus over into the paint shop, and. Uh, and yeah, there was a couple of you asking as well how you create your own liveries. Very, very straightforward, really. Uh, so you want to go to New in the paint shop and export repaint template. It will export it to uh, to a folder, which it tells you at the bottom there, and uh, it just exports whatever this is in at the moment. So you can just go into uh, you can just go to. Hang on, where are we? No, nope, we don't want to reset it. You can go to to hang on. Where, how, how do you do it now? You can you can do that. Yep, yeah, paint it in white. I always paint it in white. But if we go on import repaint, you can actually choose it. Look. So if we go on uh, Joe Ahead Group S four one five L E P N G. There you go. You can see these little white bits around the side are fixed. We've got a bit of roof on, so it looks a bit more normal. Bit of black at the back. I mean, I don't know why this is showing as turquoise, because it shouldn't be. That wasn't showing like that earlier, so I don't know why that's. Oh, for God's sake, have I not done it right? Probably not. Oh, but it's all around the wheel arch as well. Never mind, you know what? We're just going to pretend it's fine, because I'm not sure why that's happening. Oh, hang on, it's it's turquoise. Why is it turquoise underneath? How bizarre. Why are you turquoise? I don't know why you're turquoise. Go back in the paint shop. Go on. Get back in there, you. I, I want to load... Browse local templates. There we go. Low white. Apply. Bus colour white and white. And then import. Joe Egg group. There we go. That's better. Oh, it's white underneath now. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. But yeah, that's essentially how you do it. You, uh, you just export it. Go into that folder. Oh no, this bus smells. Uh, do your edit of your repaint and then you can just load it back in. Really nice and straightforward. Right, okay, let's get you painted as well while you're here then. Oh, yeah, I forgot you need a livery because we've got... Uh, right, clean you first of all. You could do with a livery though, couldn't you, sir? In your Cetra. We'll, uh, we'll paint you as well while we're there. So we'll refuel because this other chap's going for a livery first, isn't he? You're all good. You're good as well. We'll, uh, we'll have to paint you as well. So we need the orange on the roof, don't we? So... Uh, Right, there we go. New, import, repaint, SE. Lovely. You're being cleaned. You're, uh, you're not clean either. We could do with fixing them all up. Oh my god, someone else is coming back. You're a No, you're a Cetra. Why are there all these Cetras with no liveries? When did this happen? Paint you. Uh, you're pretty much good to go, aren't you? You could do with me. Oh no, we don't need to give you a wash. You're all good, all good, all good. Where's my next bus for painting? Oh, hang on. You could do with being fueled, so off you go. You can be washed. It's looking good, look. There we go. Oh, hang on. Someone else is back as well. You need to be cleaned. Oh, there's too much to do on a night. I don't know how people click that skip button. Import the repaint. Go. Looking good. You need to be cleaned. Oh, that's uh, good. Maintenance work is happening. Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. It wasn't happening on my other save. You can be cleaned. You can be cleaned as well. You can be fueled. And then we'll have to clean you as well. Uh, so yeah, it's actually going quite well. Finance-wise, we've made some money today. Three grand. Okay, it's not going to go a long way, is it? But uh, it's better than nothing. It's better than every other day when I've lost money. You could do with the wash. Ah, oh, no, okay. We'll uh, we'll let you off. You can actually be painted then. So we'll get all of these. That's a cetera as well. Get all of these painted. 
uh, nice and neat. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll paint the ones that haven't got a livery. We'll paint them in white so that we know what to do. There we go. You can go and be painted. Oh, nearly ran one of our workers over there. In fact, I'm pretty sure she did. Lovely. Get it out. And you can go in the paint shop as well. In your Sitaro. See, I think these look like Manline Cities at the back. I don't think they've done the back of the Sitaro correct at all. It looks completely weird. And I don't like those white lines that you get. But on one of the other Sitaro liveries I've done, I've actually just deleted those white lines. I don't know why they're there. I think they're quite ugly, personally. But yeah, don't get those. It's got Line City tail lights. Don't really understand why. I'll have to... I mean, you can edit it all in the repaints. Because it's just painted on. It's not like it's actually there. I mean, look, the, the lines don't even line up there, for goodness sake. Look at that on the corner. The, the black lines are thicker there than there. So you can obviously change all that. So I might actually give the Citaro C2 a bit of an overhaul. Might do. Might not. Might forget. There we go. Make it white. Our brand new bus that's not brand new. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, right, come on. You need delivery as well. So uh, we can get you over. Oh my goodness me. Where's the money going? We're, we're running out of cash. Import that. And our fleet's pl pretty much ready to go. Why is it turquoise? You weren't turquoise in the depot. Go back in there. Oh, hang on. What have I done? I don't want to sell it. Flipping heck. Do you know what? We'll just leave it as turquoise. It doesn't matter, does it? Yep. Yeah, get rid. The Mellors, uh, you can actually all stay as yellow. Because, you know, I don't actually... We might sell the Mellors yet. I'm not convinced if we're going to keep them or not. Right, 503, we need to assign some buses. So, Sutherland Ott. Uh, oh, Sutherland Ott, yeah, remember you. You can take that one. Oh, we've got 501, Ulrich Duarte. Yeah, you've got no stress, you can take that one. So, we're going to assign all the big buses to the big routes today. Uh, Sean Breichbach. Yeah, you can all, you can have them all. The 503 is quite regular, isn't it? So, uh, we need a lot of buses for that. We might have to buy some more. I've not sent the Citaro C2 out, have I? I think that can be an emergency bus that can... Oh, we're having a bit of lag there. That's an emergency bus that can just stay in the garage until we need it. Because, yeah. Is anyone else taking another bus out? Hey, when we get another four trophy points, we could uh, we could actually. Uh, you see, that's a problem, isn't it? The uh, the tail lights light up, so maybe you couldn't change the tail lights on the bus. I don't know. Yeah, we need another four trophy points until we're a bronze company. That's exciting. We do need to increase our bus network. Well, we'll try. We'll try. How's this going to work then? I hope there's going to be plenty of passengers travelling on this uh, this uh, this 501 today. Very, very laggy, isn't it, really? Why is it so laggy? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're yet to have a big influx of people, aren't we, really? Yeah, that is a problem. Ah, they're slowly coming. Look, numbers are slowly going up. We need a lot of money. We need lots of money to buy more buses. Because we need more routes. Oh, look at that. That one's got 32. It did have 40 on. So you're doing well. Yeah, we need... Because uh, what I want to do at some point... I don't know if it'll be today. I don't know if it'll be next time. But I want to get a, uh, a 548 all the way around to Rastrick. Because we can build it all the way around to Nunnery Lane and back again. Which is good. We've also got... 549s up to Nunnery Lane we could do that go an ever so slightly different way. Uh, but then, you know, it, it really does get traffic going between uh, Brighouse. Because Brighouse, there's a lot of things if you zoom in on Brighouse. Well, there you go. There's a lot of things happening. There's also quite a few things happening. So down there, we've got uh, McDonald's. Look, is there. So we could build uh, all the way up to White here. So for Brighouse, we can have things like 625s and 626s running up between Brighouse and White. The thing that is a problem on this is that it's missed off 
a lot of buildings. I mean, this is just showing technically that there's just nothing here. It's just a lot of... I mean, this is loads and loads of housing estates. You know, like this here, there's loads of little houses. So you build a bus that comes down through here and you don't get any passengers on at all, which is a bit of a shame. You know, I don't know if they can kind of change how dense it is, but like you've got a random little housing estate here. There's no houses on this one. And then all the houses around here that there are just non-existent. See, this is there's a lot of housing around here. But buses that would be busy through here just aren't. Bit of a shame, really. I think they can they can probably sort it somehow. Actually, that's a point. We could have a 571 going all the way up here. Where's that? Is that shelf roundabout? Stone chair? Yeah. Ah, yeah, we could have a 571 going all around here. That'd be good. And of course, the 570 used to run up to Rastrick, didn't it? Back in the day. Oh, it's good. It's good. I wonder if we could actually... Can we, can we take a loan out? Let's have a look at loans. 50 grand. Hmm. Uh, right, what are you? You're, you're quite low interest, but we have to pay a lot of money a day. I reckon we could actually do that. That's really low interest, isn't it? So yeah, 104 days. Let's take that loan out. Oh, we've already got a loan. Flipping heck. Oh well. We made money yesterday, didn't we? So what we're going to do is we are going to buy some more buses. Uh, fleet, second hand. Uh, right, okay. We want some cheap buses. We want as many as we can for our money. Uh, Citaro C2 at 20 grand. Yeah, you see, it's not actually... They're not that cheap, are they? That's knackered. So let's try offering them 17. Rejected. Okay. That's knackered as well. So we'll try 17. They've accepted, so it must be really knackered. We do have things like sprinters, but at the same time... Oh, look at this. It's awful. Awful, awful, awful. Right, let's get it sorted. So we'll clean it first of all, so that our drivers and mechanics don't have to work with... Uh, Terrible, terrible environment. I could just have a fleet of Cetras, but I really did want to kind of make it a little bit nicer. I can't believe I've done that. I thought I'd sorted that. There we go. We'll fuel it. And then we'll have to repair it straight away after. Oh, inbox. Hey, boss. Things have been going really well lately. I always look forward to going to work. Gwenny Neumander. Well, if... Gwenny Neumeyer is really enjoying coming to work. We're obviously not working her hard enough. So we need to find more things for her to do. Who is Gwenny Neumeyer? Is walking around. No wonder she's walking around. Get you on training. Uh, right, hang on. You're a bit stressed. Your Danica Languth is driving the bus. Trainee. There we go. You can... Because uh, we want all our bus drivers. I don't want any trainees... I want them all to be experts. So we'll deploy a few of them on there. Right, let's repair everything. Both of those. Start the repair. The mechanic's going to be really stressed, probably. Right, so who are you? You're Fedra Kolb. Fedra Kolb absolutely hates working here, doesn't she? Uh, right. You're an expert, you're an ex Oh, they're both experts. Right, okay, you're all experts. Uh, cleaners, right, we'll, we'll train you. Yeah. Service employees, you're both fully trained. What we'll do, actually, is we'll have a third service employee, because, uh, you know, they're, they're both on duty there. So if we hire another one, then there can always be one resting, can't there? Service employees, yeah. I want a really reliable one. You're good. Solange Sanchez. You're a novice, but you'll do. So what we'll do is we'll send Solange Sanchez straight away on a training course. There we go. Go and be trained. Be an expert in what you do, Solange. What about bus drivers? Have we got some more? Because I could do with some more. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we need more office. Flipping heck. Where's the office? The office is typically in the corner where I can't expand it. So we shall put more office. Hmm. That is a problem. Never mind. Never mind. We can work around that. 
I mean, I could put more office here, but then you find people just run between the two offices. It's really bizarre. Really, really weird. Right, cleanliness outside. Let's wash it. It'd be quite nice if there was a button where, you know, you could they could just do all of it. Like, these three in particular. You could just sit, like, get ready for the next day and they'd just do it automatically. Because it just seems a bit of a waste of fuel that, like, now, look, they have to go in the paint shop. They've had to go from the space to the fuel, to the space, to the wash, to the space, to the paint. It'd be quite nice to just, you know, if you had a button where it'd just do everything in one go. Perhaps that's been a bit lazy, but, you know, it just seems to be a bit more realistic. Uh, oh, hang on. Import repaint. Joe Ahead Group. That's the one. Oh, I don't know why it randomly does it different colours. Is it because I didn't paint it white before? Goodness only knows. But we're going to get a few more buses because I want to get those 548s started up. Although these are all dinky ones. I don't want little buses. Why are you just offering me little buses? I want bigger buses. Maybe we can actually get some drivers. Because No, sorry. I'm, I'm. Yeah, maybe we can get... Because we've got some more drivers... We'll train them up first. Because the new ones are like trainees, aren't they? There we go, trainees. We'll send you on training. Send you on training. Send you on training. I don't want any of you to... Uh, I don't want any trainees, because they, they don't drive the buses very well, do they? I mean, we can have a look at our details, and uh, bus driver driving style is one of the things we lose points for. As is the friendliness, but we can't do much about that. I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of things that we're five star on. We just need to unlock better bus stops. How are we doing in the research category, by the way? Oh, we can't really research any more. 56 points until we get a new uh, a new bus there. Oh, we get 6,800 bonus pounds. If we sell 1,700 tickets. So, uh, yeah, we could really do with getting that. Yeah, right, let's have a look. More buses. There's none, is there? Right, what we'll do is I might have to actually just bite the bullet and buy some brand new ones. It's Tara C2. Very expensive, but you can carry more passengers. Oh, another 501 needs to go. We'll send that one out on the 501. Can carry more passengers. Has more of a range in its tanks. Uh, price, yep. Okay, let's just have three. No, I want, I want them to be white. I mean, we could have one with a... No, it has to be white, doesn't it? Yeah, let's just have a load of Citaros. Keeps them different, doesn't it? And it puts more pressure on me to, uh, to actually paint the flipping thing. To get a livery. Yeah, brand new. Isn't it white? Yep, yeah, white. Brilliant white. Really shiny, actually. Look at that. Why did they not part them together? 503. Yeah, Ulrich Duarte. Is Ulrich really stressed? So we don't want to assign Ulrich, do we? We want to assign Felicity Linden. Yeah, because you're not stressed. There we go. Yeah, we can do that. So let's have another route. Let's have another route. We can do this somehow. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Another 503. Why does it keep wanting to send Ulrich Duarte? It'd be nice if you could choose, like, to pick the least stressed driver. Bert Borowiski. You're the one. Ah, Bert. Hmm. Yeah, gonna have to send that Citara. Never mind. It is what it is. Right. Okay, so, we're gonna be running over to Brighouse on a 548. So, let's pop into Halifax bus station. Yep. Yeah. Oh, or maybe we won't. There we go. So, brand new route. New route. Own bus route. Route 548. Click on the bus stops on the map. So we're going to go there. Yeah. And over to Northgate. And then we're going to go round to there. There. Lovely. Down to Stump Cross. I think we've got a bus stop there. Down at the bottom of Stump Cross. Yeah, Leeds Road. We'll just stop at all of them. There we go. Yeah, all the way up to Hippodrome Lights. Lovely. And then down. And it's just down the main road. This one, isn't it? Not you. Pop you on the main road because for some reason you want to send me down there. Uh, yeah. 
And down past the park. But yeah, look, all these houses that are just not there, so the buses don't get particularly busy. Shame, shame. Stop in the bus station. I like how it sends you the correct way around in the bus station. Over the bridge, because there's no bus stops in the centre of Brighouse at all there. What we might do is I might put one there just to play the game. Just to serve all these things, because, you know. There we go, we'll put you up there and send it up via Oakland's. Yeah, round here, past Rastrick High School, Fieldtop Road, and up here, all the way up to Nunnery Lane. Round, yeah, Nunnery Lane, Arnold Road, Royd. We need to make a note of that, because that's where they're going to wait their time. You do get a lot on these, it's quite busy. I have actually built this route on a personal save of mine. And it does get quite busy round here, probably because of the amount of houses that there is. And to Thornton Square, into Brig House, back up again, round the roundabout, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, lovely. Back up to Hipperome Lights, stop that one, not the other one, otherwise you'll end up going down that road and reversing. South edge, up to Hipprome. Then you turn left, go down towards Stump Cross. Now, I think that like this Leeds Road and this Leeds Road might be on this side. That one might be on the other side of the road, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Up to Godley Lane. Round to Birdcage, New Bank Prospect Street, we'll stick one on there. North Gate, you do actually stop there, don't you, technically? And into the bus station. Can we have a pink one? Yeah, we'll have pink, because this is the pink line in real life. Looking good. Looking good indeed. That's going to be quite a busy, busy little route. So we will have uh, advanced settings. I want to be 515 until... we'll go with 22.15. Yep, so it's going to go from Halifax bus station, down into Brighouse bus station, yep, Nunnery Lane, where is it, Nunnery Lane, Arnold Roy, how long do you take? Okay, so it's going to take an hour and a half, so we'll have uh, Brighouse bus station there, we'll have five minutes on there to 28, I don't know what time they go up and down, it's not going to be the most realistic timetable, is it? 10 minutes on there. Bring us bus station. One, two, three, four, five. That's too many. Right, we'll take five minutes off. Nunnery Lane. Oh, I can't find where Nunnery Lane is now. Flipping heck. Nunnery Lane. One, two, three, four, five. Is that going to be better? Mmm, you see, there's not a lot of time there, is there? Bring us bus station. Where's Bring us bus station now? We'll just have four minutes standard time in Brighouse Bus Station. Brighouse Bus Station. Four minutes. Four minutes before you come back out at Halifax. That's That makes sense. So we'll need three buses on this. Because they're going to be every half an hour. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, every half an hour at rush hour. So Saturday. Every half an hour. 6.15. 22.15. Same as in the week, but starting an hour later. Uh, Brighouse bus station. I can never find it. Four minutes there. Nunnery Lane, where are you? Nunnery Lane, one, two, three, four, five. And then four minutes at uh, Brighouse bus station. Awesome. Looking good. Sunday timetable. Every hour, I think. Seven, I mean, the 5 or 8 doesn't run at all on a Sunday. I could technically have it where it doesn't run on a Sunday, couldn't I, technically? But yeah, there's a 5 four, 9 every hour on a Sunday, so yeah, we'll... Uh, we'll keep it running like that, and again, we'll just make the necessary adjustments. I realise timetable is not the most exciting thing in the world, is it? But uh, 1, 2, 3, 4... 
Then the red line, one, two, three, four, five. Three gas. I always go past it, duh. Awesome. Awesome. Right, let's get some 548s out there, everybody. Ulrich Duarte. Yeah, you're still really stressed, Ulrich, so we're not going to use you. Sean Breitenbach. Also stressed, as is Luana Clausen. Who else have we got? Greg Stratman. You're not stressed. Go! Who else is Bird Nittel? Not stressed. Go! And 503. Hang on. Who else have we got? After Bird Nittel, we've got Jeanette Strolb. Yeah, you can go. Oh, hang on. I need to assign two more 548s, and I've got no drivers. Right, this is where we need more office. There we go, pop a door in. Oh, hang on, someone's just walked through my wall. There we go, we'll, we'll, we'll just put the office in for now, so that we can hire the staff. Bus drivers, yep. Yeah. I just want reliable ones. Hire you, hire you. That should be enough, shouldn't it? Babs Traeger. Babs Traeger. There you go. Take... Oh, hang on. They're not operational. Take the Cetra Babs. And Alan Bonk. Boonk. Alan Boonk. There you go. Take that one. I don't want to put a Meller out on the 548, but I'm going to have to, aren't I? I wonder how this is going to do in terms of passenger numbers. Right. What are we doing the, with this office? Yeah, you see, if we fast forward now, I know there's not a lot of staff in here, but they just usually just walk up and down between... It's lagging a lot today, isn't it? There you go, look, just, just walking up and down. Maybe we'll put some chairs in here. Some windows. Office. Uh, yeah, let's have a window there. A couple of windows, let in a bit of nat national light. Natural light, even. Vending machine in the corner. I'll have a couple of armchairs. So that people can... A uh, couple of tables in the middle. Lovely. Maybe something over here. Not a standing desk. We've got those already. Plants. Yeah, there we go. A couple of big plants round. A couple of chairs there. So that everyone can get a seat. Not that anyone ever sits down. But, you know, you can have a chair if you want them. It'd be nice if you could, like, decorate your rooms to make them a bit more... Yeah. I also found out... Hang on, where's the toilet? That everyone loves to share. There's a toilet in there somewhere. There we go. So, I found out if we go into the move thing there... Oh, we can't. Bathroom. Toilet. There we go. One, two, three. Put three toilets next to each other. You need to get off the loo, sir. There's a way we can. Uh, there's a way we can demolish that toilet. Oh, oh, sorry, love. Oh, she's just gone to sit on the toilet, and I've blown it up. Sorry. There we go. So we can actually build walls by using that tool there. I hadn't seen it. I'd seen people had said, "Joe, why not build walls?" And I didn't realise what they were on about. But you can build walls. And put tinted doors on the front. There we go. Now, everyone can wee in peace. I mean, she's just weeing with door wide open, you know. But, you, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, obviously. Oh, hang on. Yeah. How do you get rid of that wall? Yeah. Tinted door. Lovely. Sink on the wall there. That is what we're, uh, that is where we're at. Look at that. I mean, it's not ideal, because like I said, they just wee with the door open, but, you know, it's better than it was. At least you're giving them the option. Oh, we've got some buses back. So what will... Do? Oh, technical condition, that's knackered. Oh, it has a flat tyre. Right, we'll refit that. You can go for fuel, you can go for a wash. What are you doing? You can be cleaned inside while we're there. Oh, it's looking good. Right, well, there we go. That is absolutely brilliant. Let's see 548 with a little Mellow bus on. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, but yeah, 14 out of 87. We've got a couple of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Sitaros are kind of floating round. 
everywhere. I shall make sure uh, that I try and remember. I can't promise, but I'll try and remember to get some liveries for those uh, those buses done. Like I say, I can't promise, because sometimes I just get so busy. What we're trying to run a YouTube channel, trying to actually have a life, trying to do my usual job daytime and sometimes night time. Yeah, sometimes it's just difficult to remember to do things. So yeah, I am sorry about that, guys. I'll, uh, I'll try and get it done as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed the video today. I hope it's maybe given you some ideas for what you could do with your company. And I hope that it helped with the uh, with the explaining how to do the liveries. I realise I could have probably explained it better, but, uh, but yeah, you, you probably knew what I meant anyway. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated by myself. And uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe to keep up with the series. There's plenty more to be done on this, and uh, I'd hate for you to miss out. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.